Keaton, it's not uncommon to see great improvement for any team, especially between weeks one and two. What was the impetus of the improvement that you saw from the offense this week? Um, you know, I don't know. I think you chalk up last week as just not being us. I think tonight and today what we saw was what we've been all, all, all year, all fall camp. Uh, since I've been here, that's how we played. And it was nice to see it and show up. It was obviously frustrating last week. A lot of questions swirling around. And, uh, you know, we know who we are, and I'm glad that we showed it today and uh, got to put it on film. Well, you came out the first drive obviously didn't go as planned then the interception happens but then you seem to lock in was there something that that clicked was there something that changed in that moment from that third drive on uh maybe i, I felt pretty good in the first couple of drives obviously you know we, we still had a completion we set a penalty on the nelson man downfield the interception was was tough but we had a guy wide open uh we we it's credit to the offense, staying and trusting the whole process, trusting the offense. Um, we did switch to the wristband. Obviously, they, they know our offense pretty well, and I think that definitely helped. You had a nice connection with Isaac Rex today. What was working well at the tight end position for you and your vision of the field? Um, you know, really just dialing up for him when it counted, and uh, he did a great job, too, on that one right before half. That's a huge, huge deal score right before half. And, uh, you know, again, he's just such a great friend, does things the right way, and I'm happy he's finally healthy, feeling himself, and uh, I'm excited to have a big year with him. At any point, do you give him a hard time for not scoring? Oh, trust me. And that, that was to break the record, too. I was like, dude, if you score on that one, he's right there. If you score on that one, the Rexes are going to have that play on repeat in perpetuity. But I guess we'll have to wait for a few more games at least. What is it with Keaton Slovis and rushing touchdowns this season? Should we expect one every week now? I don't know. I thought they would key in me more. You know, I was expecting to hand it. You know, give us a look. I got to pull it in. And uh, it's credit to A-Rod, you know, and stuff we've done here in, in the past. It's just uh, it's carried over to me. And happy you gave me the green light to call those plays. Uh, I know that you're going to go back and look at the film and, and maybe have a, a more intricate answer. But right now, in your mind, is there anything that you, that you wish you could have had back or that you want that you want to improve on right now? There are a lot of plays looking back that, you know, we could have done differently, we could have executed better. I know in the red zone, I probably shouldn't have thrown that to, to Aiden. Um, we had a penalty, but they're, like I could nitpick a, a handful of plays. Um, but the thing I'm really proud about this offense is, you know, it doesn't have, you don't have to play perfect for us to have a successful day. And, uh, you know, it's a few, day, few plays where things didn't go our way. Maybe not the best play call for the defense we got. Next play we get it, perfect play call, and we execute. What do you feel like was the best thing you accomplished this week to help you get ready for Arkansas next week? I think just just relaxing, having fun, letting loose at, at practice, and uh, really making sure everyone's prepared. We got a lot of new players, new faces on this team. Um, having Kibo back helps a lot, but I think getting those guys dialed and uh, executing, and then just playing loose once you got here is really the key. I wish you the best as you give the Rex family a hard time, and uh, <laughs> congratulations on a great performance. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.